let's start first of all by saying what it means to present a half of our own celebrating Ireland in a way, as well as the immigration process, yes. in uh, on St. Patrick's Day. So. I really didn't know if it was supposed to be, I thought it was ironic at first, and I wasn't sure if it was on purpose or not, but I was like, well, there's really no other reason why. Um, it means a lot. One year ago today, I was filming this this documentary at the um, at the Irish parade, the St. Patrick's Day parade, um, uptown on 97th Street or something like that. And it it's just amazing that a year a year later here we are um, presenting it to the public, and it means a lot to me to tell this story because it's a story that isn't being told. It's a double-edged sword for a lot of Irish immigrants in the United States. They're um, Caucasian, they speak English, they want to come over here to pursue the American dream just as badly as everyone else, but Ireland isn't considered a third world country. So they're not getting the kinds of visas that a lot of other countries are getting. If that's fair or not, that's not for me to say. Um, but it's a story that needs to be told, and because they're white, they speak English and things like that, people aren't going to ask them if they have a green card. They can fly under the radar here very easily, they can assimilate very easily, but it's still a problem because they're not able to go home if they want to, because they don't have a visa. A lot of undocumented Irish immigrants rely on marriage-based visas, which are tricky, which is fraud, which is illegal, but it's the only way that they can come into this country and have the same chance that everyone else is having in a lot of different cases. So St. Patrick's Day is a, is a bittersweet day, I would say, because everyone's celebrating Irish heritage and Irish um, traditions, even if it's not so Irish, really, um, but there's still all the Irish bartenders who are working today, who, did, who don't get to see the parade, um, and who you know, won't get to go home anytime soon. So it's, it's a bittersweet day, but I'm glad that this story is getting some traction, especially here, it's socially relevant. And it's interesting to see how this year in movies, um, Irish immigration uh, to the United States seem to be the topic of the day. We've seen yes. at the Oscars with Brooklyn. Yes. So in a way, maybe there is a voice that is starting to emerge both in the mainstream and in the, in the independent cinema. So do you, do you think that right now there is a, a bit more of a exposure to this kind of issue? Yeah, even though Brooklyn is a historical film, it deals with a different era, there definitely is because now is the time when smart, educated, full-length feature films are becoming out of the economic crisis in 2008 and 2010. So now is the time where people are starting to tell those stories in a really 2020 hindsight kind of way. And that's exactly what's happening with Irish immigration as well. So many Irish people came over because of the economic crash. It hit Ireland, it was the crash of the Celtic Tiger, and it hit Ireland harder than Greece, harder than any other country, in, in my opinion, and the statistics will show that too. People had to walk away from their homes, and you know, a couple of months ago, they were people were lining up, people had five different homes, people were lining up for Gucci bags around the block because they had so much money. People were at the height of the Celtic Tiger taking weekend trips to America to go shopping on Fifth Avenue. And it all came crashing down so hard and so a lot of people emigrated. Just like potato famine would be an easy um, reference to make. So it's the same exact thing. So I would love to see more films come out of that era in particular. Yeah. Is your heritage Irish? Is, is this like very personal to you? This yes, so I wore my clada today. Um, uh, yes, uh, uh, my dad is Scottish Irish, so uh, my last name is Ewing, which came from Mokhuan. Um And, you know, we, we're pretty, we're Irish, but we're, you know, also American and German, Italian. My mom is Sicilian, so, um, you know, we, <laughs> we celebrate everything in our house. <laughs> 
If I'm not mistaken, this year is the 100th anniversary of the, the Easter Rising in Ireland. Yes. So uh, I must say this is a very good time for your film to start circulating in the festival circuit. Yes, so this is our second festival. Um, it had one community screening in Queens, and that was just like a friends and family event. Um, it, screened at the, it screened at the Chicago Irish Film Festival, where it was received pretty well. Um, it also screened here today, and we're in the circuit for a few other things that we hope turn out positively. Uh, and yeah, I'm hoping to continue and hopefully after that get distribution for the film and show it to as many people as I can. Well, best of luck and thank, thank you for being here. I love your bandana, by the way. Thank you. St. <laughs> Patrick's. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.